Hello, dear friends. Let's talk about problems of Ford Mondeo. Ford is not very popular as a reliable manufacturer, but lately people at this factory have been seriously trying to change their reputation. With this model, they came in, came in handy. Check the running engine as there were problems with the injectors on the TDCI turbo diesel, as well as the suspension that is on all Ford models. There are some failures that we can point to in all models, so maybe check out all the electronics since this is the most common thing that goes with all this car. Gearboxes and motors are great. Just avoid them if you can come across the aut an automatic. When buying a used Ford Mondeo 3, you should pay attention to the exhaust at about 100 km can corrode. TDCI engines sometimes have problems with the tur turbocharger. Also note the condition of the pipes connecting the EGR valve to the intercooler. Ford cars are recommended for the price. If it is serviced on time and the owner does not save on parts, except for a few more expensive items, the buyer should not have too much trouble. Petrol engines are particularly recommended with no major problems, provided you do not install the LPG system. However, we do not recommend buying a car with a 1.8 Psi engine, which suffers pretty much with direct injection. Ford Mondeo manufactured up to and including 2003 equipped with gasoline engines. If they make noise during operation, this usually indicates the dis uh, displacement of the wings about the axle in the intake. By breathing the shafts, the wing can end up in the combustion chamber of the engine causing extensive engine damage. With 2.0i gasoline engines, there is a problem with the fuel pump in the tank, resulting in an uneven supply of fuel. Most recommended for Mondeo gasoline engines and almost flawless construction and a very durable crumbshaft driving chain. The 2000 and 2001 models may have a fuel injection problem corrected in later versions. Even worse is the condition of the diesel engine. In the first Ford Mondeo models equipped with a 115hp diesel engine, there is a problem with a sudden drop in engine power due to a leakage of a pipe hose between the turbocharger and the intercooler. With older DI engines, there are serious flaws, such as head or block cracks, full injection pump malfunctions. Newer TDCI engine, engines should pay attention to fuel quality sensitive injectors can clock. You have to deal with power pump failures, electronic whims, head shots and damage to the turbocharger. It should be noted However, that the brand new structure of TDCI engines failed most at the beginning of their marketing career 2001-2003 and beyond. But then gradually the differences are corrected and problems became, become smaller and smaller. DI engines 90 and 115 HP in, in some models at the start of production cases of premature bursting of the uh, distribution chain causing in engine damage. Sometimes in cars with TDCI engines the turbine works ok, but the problem only applies to in neglected models due to the lack of attention of users who drive the car at high speed while the engine is cold. TDDI engines, the electronic rotary pump in these engines have fewer problems but has much less power than TDCI engines. On TDCI 130 kW motors, a common crumbshaft position sensor failure. 
The DCI-130 engine suffers from problems, uneven idling, does not start and stops. Reinstalling the ECU is a cure. Clutch and float flywheel problems on models made in 2003 with TDCI engines. 2.0 TDCI-150 HP and 130 engines. By 2004, premature wear of injection pumps could damage the fuel injection system due to the metal chips in the system. It is often necessary to replace the injection pump and injectors. Symptoms of black smoke during acceleration and unsteady work on the back. TDCI engines. Until 2004, the risk of accidental traffic jams due to interruption of engine wiring. Wiring reconstruction usually solves the problem. TDCI engine, diesel engines have the most common problems with oil consumption and smoke due to the destroyed ceiling around the turbocharger. For DC, TDCI engines, there are problems with variable geometry turbocharger blades indicating reduced power. In early TDCI diesel engines a common problem, ignition restless idle, problems with operation between 1500 and 2000 rpm per minute and excessive fuel consumption. Problems are solved with new injectors partly, partly with the new ECU engine problem. A program. With the new ECU engine program. Diesel injectors are very sensitive to fuel quality and tend to change frequently 100 km. If there is a vehicle with replaced all injectors, with new and modified ones, fuel leaks often occur due to improper installation of gaskets, seals. When replacing the nozzles, the new improved Delphi injectors are smaller than the original and require a different gas gasket. Using the original type of seal will result in fuel leaks. Replacing the flywheel, which may endure less than 100 km. A sign of floating flywheel problems comes from under the hood with low speed vibration and when gear changes. Unfortunately, this is one of the most expensive items whose replacement is unfortunately needed. Quite right, re de de delayed replacement for some time. It should be emphasized, emphasized. It should be emphasized that the floating flywheel problem is a problem for all diesels in this class. EGR valve. On all, on all diesel engines, and contamination of the EGR valve causes power losses. It needs to be cleaned or replaced. Common failures and problems with the EGR valve on all diesel vehicles resulting in a loss of engine power. It is advice, uh, advisable to clean the valve periodically. Brake linings and discs wear out quickly, especially in dynamics driving, which significantly increases maintenance costs. The rear brake pipe corrodes where they pass the trunk. Occasional problems with the rear and interior lights due to poor mass and fuse burnout. A loud alternator in indicates a problem with worn bearings, which make it necessary to change the entire uh, alternator. Poor grounding for the engine causes all kinds of problems, but these are the little things. The shock switch interrupts the supply of fuel sometimes unintentionally, but again this is a trifle. Failure of the starter, the small flywheel stacks around the bendix, um, remove the unlaser, disassemble it in and clean it. Noise winds around the front and rear door seals. Ford Mondeo from the first years of age suffers from poor color quality, especially on the hood where pebbles easily damage the paint. Hydraulic shock absorbers load carriers quickly lose their load capacity. 
for the Ford Mondeo produced by the end of 2003, there was an error in the bottom of the door that caused the paint to rust. The appearance of rust on the five doors around the back plates hanging premature tire wear up to 15 kilometers. It involves the use of too many soft tires, but also the inadequate adjustment of the front trap. Cruise control. On gasoline models manufactured until July 2001, cruise control problem caused by water penetration into cruise control ECU. The rear silent block blocks are damaged in the sedan and headstand. The caravan does not have these problems due to another rare suspension solution. Stabilizers and erasers of the balance rod are being hit. Door trim. After a few years, the surface of the inside door handle and arm sets pale off, which is very ugly. Unwanted noise. On all models, but with big noise differences, the interior interiors creak. For vehicles with electronic adjusting, this, uh, adjusting the seat, failure of the lifting and lowering functions of the seat due to the poor quality of the plastic gears. In the case of vehicles manufactured before the restyling, there is a regular pipe breakage of the air conditioning system which is located behind the front bumper of the vehicle, designing a different tube shape and therefore no friction from the flange and refraction. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you are the owner of this car, then share your experience. It will help others to choose a car. Goodbye.